dear colleagues, dear members and dear friends. My name is Thomas Berg and as the Vice Secretary General of ESL, it's really my pleasure and my privilege to welcome you to attend the second general session of the upcoming International Liver Congress. The meeting, the digital meeting will be held on Friday, August 28 at 1 p.m. And it will be co-chaired by the president of the ASLD, Professor Becerra. And for this session, we really selected the abstracts that achieved the highest score during the evaluation process, and that covered really the whole spectrum of clinical, translational, and basic um, liver research. So when attending this meeting, you can really expect to hear the best of the best in hepatology. I would like to take the opportunity to point out to some of the contents that will be shown during this second general session. You will see data showing how to recognize significant liver disease in a primary care setting with easy to apply measures. And this could be really a very big step forward in our attempt to prevent liver-related endpoints. As a potential future treatment target for non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, a new modulator is described that triggers inflammation in the hepatic fat. And in a second basic research study, um, the delicate balance between inflammation and fibrogenesis on the one hand, but regeneration on the other will be explored and showing that when in inhibiting inflammation and fibrogenesis, you probably have to pay the price that liver regeneration will become compromised. For the cure of hepatitis B virus infection, RNA interference has become a very interesting approach. But it's unclear so far what happened after treatment is stopped. For this question will be answered by a nice long-term follow-up evaluation of patients after getting the treatment with inter, um, RNA interference in a phase two study. You will also hear um, first long-term outcome data of patients with autoimmune hepatitis after liver transplantation coming from a large European registry. And finally, the big question, how to follow the many patients with hepatitis C virus induced cirrhosis after cure in terms of HCC surveillance will be answered by a large trajectory clustering analysis coming from the ANRS Surveyor cohort. So Professor Becerra and I are really looking forward to welcome you to this second general session, which will be followed by the second award ceremony. And while all of the pre presentations are pre-recorded, we will have a live and hopefully lively discussion via the chat after each talk. So we're really awaiting your questions, your attendance, and in the meanwhile, we wish you all the best and please stay safe.